When you think about Web Gems at second base, you think about Brandon Phillips, and that's why, for the fourth time, that dude BP is accepting a National League Gold Glove. He may not cover the most ground, but he's routinely spectacular. Phillips beats out last year's winner Darwin Barney of the Cubs and the Dodgers' Mark Ellis to claim the award that he also won in 2008, 2010, and 2011. Phillips tonight in a statement through the Reds says defense wins championships and he takes pride in his defense. He thanked the managers and coaches for the vote and said hard work pays off. He's now one glove short of Joe Morgan's five. Jay Bruce was shut out again. The Reds' right fielder has been one of the three finalists every year since 2011. Come up empty each time, this time losing to Arizona right fielder Gerardo Parra. Sabermetrics fielding statistics also played a part in this year's voting. Uh, it's a bad week for a short week because Bengals not going to have enough time to be healthy for Miami on Thursday. Ray Malaluga won't play with a sprained MCL. Andrew Whitworth likely out with a bone bruise and cartilage damage in, in his knee. Mohamed Sanu didn't practice. Neither did linebacker Michael Boley. Now, Leon Hall placed on injured reserve, ending his season. Achilles tear. You see linebacker J.K. Schaefer. He's back up from the practice squad. To Quinn Evans, who never made it back to the roster after his eight-week PED suspension, waived today. Andrew Hawkins still has a shot at being named to the roster by game day. You know, Miami's hungry after losing four straight. Bengals looking for five in a row now. Very good defense. Um, you know, it's going to be a challenge for us. Um, but, you know, not only just how hungry they are, but, you know, we, we are in a situation where we're winning games. Uh, everyone wants to knock you off and be the team that beats you. So uh, games are going to get more challenging. And guys are you know, going to be fired up for the opportunity to beat you and, and uh, kind of humble you a little bit. So we're going to have to have our best every single week. It is the final week of high school football regular season this week. Here's how the playoff numbers look. Top 16 in Division I will make it. Moeller still on top. Lakota West third. Colerain fifth. Elder sixth. St. X is 11. 11 and hanging on. Top eight for the rest, Loveland number one in Division Two. Mount Healthy, Wynton Woods, Northwest, Harrison, Withrow, and Kings. Division Three, New Richmond joining Western Brown with high hopes of extra games. Division Four, it's Clinton, Massey, McNick, and Wyoming. They are bunched up in D5. CHCA at 9 0, Baden, Madeira, Maramont, Waynesville. In Division Six, it is Country Day leading the pack. Summit trying to hold on to the number eight spot. Still nobody in Division Seven. Well, Xavier's getting ready for their first exhibition game on Saturday against Quincy. The Muskies struggled last year. They were undermanned, outmatched. Now Coach Chris Mack has a lot more bodies, but the level of play steps up as well in the new Big East. And he's not sure what he's got. You know, we have more players than we did a year ago. We also have more uh, inexperience than we did a year ago. But um, I, I, I like our kids' effort. Um, you know, I think we have a ways to go, and I think you learn more about your team when you start playing opponents uh, than maybe you do when you're, when you're practicing uh, versus yourself. Preseason MAC basketball coaches pull out today. The Red Hawks pick to finish next to last in the East Division, only in front of Bowling Green. Senior forward Will Felder named to the East preseason first team. Regional semifinals at Kings tonight. Mason taking on Loveland. It was all comments sent ahead to Chloe Canoe. She chases, stops, adjusts with the left, and it fires. Came up in Mason. And to finish it off, the captain, Alex Niehoff. Mason advances 3-0 to the regional finals on Saturday. Line number three. 